welcome to my channel. I'm Ellie Janae, your space curator slash lifestyle ambassador. I am the CEO and owner of the Seat at the Table series in Black Women Network. So why are we talking about self-care today, right? Self-care is very, very, very important for every individual, whether you are a child all the way to being an adult. You have to understand the importance of self-care and it must be added into your everyday daily regime right some um, some of the things that we notice that that we do for self-care is like go to a spa get our nails done or read a book or do something in self-isolation but there's many ways to look into what is self-care and it's worth actually talking about because um, the whole art of self-care is to rehabilitate the person themselves, right? So we have to know ourselves enough to re be able to rehabilitate ourselves. So in saying that, where do you start? How do you know what is rehabilitating you? How do you know that you're just doing it for fun? And there's many different ways to get to that, but I'm going to actually simplify a checklist that I have curated um, for not only just my black women community, but also for anyone that is looking to utilize a self-care regime for themselves because they're feeling low in certain areas. So, like I said, we're going to get into the checklist, but the biggest thing that I wanted to talk about is key indicators that it is time to do some self-care. One of the biggest indicators that I see is a lack of sleep. Whenever you're not being able to sleep, it is very important that um, you get your sleep. Eight hours, six hours, but get some type of recharge and your body is being able to recharge. But if your mind is going miles and miles and miles a minute and you haven't had time to actually just chill out, be quiet, and just be in your own zone, or just really regroup, then you're going to lose sleep because your body is looking for a, a downtime to be able to lull into the Z's land. Another indicator that you are possibly looking for, uh, it's time for some self-care, is your eating habits. Are you eating too much, too little, and is there not a, a great, um, healthy, pathway that you're looking to nourish your body right so that's another way that you can tell that you are in need of some self-care because your body uh, relies on you to feed it healthy um, items and really just really feed it as well another indicator is basically feeling more angry super sad depressed or just really withdrawn from people if you find yourself getting very frustrated with people which is me I can easily get frustrated but there's a certain tolerable level that I have which is I know two or three hours before I need to recharge if you are always in the uh, presence of people and you're feeling kind of low um, it's probably time to actually get into a self-care regime so you can recharge whenever you're away from away from them whether you're an introvert or extrovert so let's get into this self-care checklist which allows you to have better indicators and identifiers of when do I need a self-care or how do I know if I need a self-care um, routine? So the five different areas that we're going to look at is the mental, body, career, spirit, and relationships the areas of your life. Um, whenever you go into the mental space, I think that is the first place to look on your checklist um, is to know, is my mental capacity doing well? Some areas and ways that you can be able to check this is, like I was saying, are you having difficulty with concentrating? Are you having difficulties uh, with eating or sleeping? That's a great indicator to know, how am I treating my mind, right? What kind of exercises can I really get involved in to really slow my mind down, have some level of self-awareness, and really be um, in the present, right? And is it overwhelming me? What is stressing me? What is tying me or pulling me, right? Those identifiers is a small way to check in and know if you're, you know, doing well or not. And then finding different tools to be able to make sure that you're able to bring yourself back to the health that you need. Um, this is uh, very important as well. When you're looking to, into your mental health, um, this is something that you want to do daily. Maybe ask yourself in the morning or before you go to sleep, how do I feel? Do I feel like I need to recharge? Do I feel like I'm doing well today? But having that on honest conversation is very important. The second thing that I wanted to look into is your 
body, right? So this is another health, healthy measure that you can check in daily. When you look into your body, you're not only looking just at the food, but also are you exercising? Does your body feel worn down? Does it feel like it needs, you know, some type of replenishment? Or are you even paying attention to your body, right? So this could be something where you just walk for five minutes or do a stretch every day or just really just, you know, be thankful for your your skin, your your face, your um, just just regular regular body functions. But it's very important that we bring appreciation to our body because we want to serve our body and um, recognize that it does take a lot to take care of our body and we are here. So that gives some level of self-care and there's many other tools of like working out and eating and all that type of good stuff to bring your body back into restoration and back into health. But it's very important after you look into your mental space then to look into are am I healthy within my body space. So the third thing that I would like to move into is your spirit, right? The spirit is basically understanding your knower. Are you in tune with your intuition? Have you had time to sit, be quiet, and just reflect, right? It's very important that we find at least five minutes to 30 minutes in a day to actually just sit in silence. Sometimes it grows with certain individuals who are more, um, what was it, ambiverts or introverts, but even extroverts need some downtime to be able to recharge. That quiet space is very uncomfortable when you first start, but after a while, you can take up that five minutes of quiet time of reflection and really getting to know yourself and dating yourself. You can take up that five to 30 minutes by just basically going through this checklist and asking, is my mental space safe and healthy? Is my body space self and safe and healthy? Is my spirit space safe and healthy, right? What does that look like, right? So spirit is just basically getting back into connection with your intuition and just slowing down to say, I am here. Okay, so what is the fourth thing? Um, relationships relationships is a huge huge deal um, for you to actually know if your mental body and spirit is out of whack as well what are you surrounded by does it drive anxiety does it actually make you have to go in 30 million different directions what can you simplify what can you add right so asking questions around your relationships and things like that is very very important and taking a look at who do you have around you allows you to also date yourself to know hey do I appreciate this type of person and do I not appreciate this type of person what am I going to do about it um, in the art of all of this is to not pressure yourself but to identify once you start to identify you get to understand those levels of health the fifth thing that we want to look into is career. Whether you are a, an entrepreneur to uh, having a career path or looking to get into a career path, you want to take the time out to know what am I doing and does it serve me as much as I am serving it. When you're having that type of conversation with yourself, then you're able to understand, okay, is this something that I want to put all of my energy in? Is this giving me an opportunity to recharge as well because contrary to popular belief you can have a career whether it's your favorite or even okay in your passing to get to your favorite career you can have something come back and feed you just as much as you are feeding it the whole art of this self-care routine or checklist is to make sure that you are not depleted but you are rehabilitated and that is very 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 important as a person because we can definitely get really low we have a certain amount of capacity um, that we can be able to carry as we grow on our journeys but we want to make sure that we are at our optimal full so we can have an environment that invites all the things that we must manifest as far as it goes into our purpose and things like that so you definitely could see the post around the checklist on my black women network um, Instagram and I have the information in this video in the links down below you can check out my seat at the table uh, space curating um, 
platform as well and that's whenever I'm gathering women around and we're basically you know enjoying cooking in many different ways to be able to make sure that we're connecting as a community and then of course you can follow my personal page, uh, page which is Ellie Janae but in saying that I'm going to close this video in hopes of you leaving a comment of how you utilize the self-care industry whether it be just going into a spa self uh I don't know go, uh, going and taking a bath or um, reading or whatever please let me know in the comments I am so interested in to, uh, to know your way of self-care um, your self-care tips and um, like subscribe and ring the bell until then I'll talk to you soon bye